found something. Buenos Aires International Airport this morning. Now watch this. Harold. Trail ends at the airport, but turns out that a top Providence operative owns a vineyard in the area. Don Yates, of infamous New York law firm Morgan Yates & Cohn. And get this, it's hosting his retirement party today. She's infiltrated them. She's sending a message. She needs my help. Could have fooled me. You don't know her. Anyway, if you're going after her, you'll need to deal with the Herald. Her name's Tamara Vidal, former CIA asset and political firebrand. She's a master of surveillance and the Constance's most trusted aide. She'll have eyes everywhere. You won't get far as long as she's in the game. Why are you telling me this? I thought you were out. Yeah. Old habits, I guess. Anyway, I... I need to go. See you around, 47. No, you won't. Because you're not an idiot. Let's just humor him. Yates likes his little games. Don't be long. You got my message. You'd never get caught on camera. Not unless you wanted to be seen. So what's the play? You're not the only one who's been busy, 47. I'm this close to becoming the next Constant. I'll be able to dismantle Providence from the inside. Only one man stands in my way. Don Yates. That weasel was the partner's legal counsel for years. He's the top candidate. But remove him from the playing field. It won't work. If Edward suspects... I will convince him you acted alone. Retaliation for Grey. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. The Herald, Tamara Vidal. She has eyes everywhere, and they're all fixed on you. The plan won't work unless we take her out. She never leaves my sight for long. Whatever your plan is, I'll help you if I can. You're sure about this? As sure as I'll ever be. Here, I got you an invitation, just like old times. Come find me when it's done. Good luck, 47. two decades, New York-based law firm Morgan... Ugh, cut, Neil. What's this ass... Jeez, can you believe these people? Uh, I must be over the think the whole about world is their playground. He's been living alone here for, what, six years? Ever since the scandal that ruined her from They need us to be near that Yates, senor. May I see your invitation, please? Gracias, senor. Enjoy the party. and Luther, redeploy the birds and key in on the party area. 
We're spread too thin. Too many blind spots. Anyone as much as sneeze in the wrong direction, I want to know about it. Okay, all done. And I see your tour guide is none other than Gabriel Varga. Corvo, got a message from the boss. Duty calls. Let me guess, the Burnwood woman. That's right. Gates has arranged for the chief winemaker to take Burnwood and Tamara Vidal on a grand tour of the estate. Wants you to tag along. Not for my sparkling personality. This Burnwood woman sure has his panties in a twist. Wonder what the deal is. Yates' business is his business. Just get yourself ready and sign into the visitor center. Oh, I have a drink on my behalf. I don't drink. It makes me sentimental. A private tour of the estate. Diana, Vidal, and this fixer, Corvo Black. Black is a threat, but also an opportunity. Yates' own machinations are inconsequential. Joining the tour will give access to Vidal, away from the crowd. Mr. Yates. Yeah, I got your message. You aren't telling me what I'm... Nothing quite spoils a party like your guests. Yeah, in fact, a couple of spots come to mind. On the tour or after? Stand by. So you're not sure yet? Hello. Does that mean there's a plan A? One where I don't stand a 50 50 chance of getting caught? I mean, you do realize the risk here, boss. Broad daylight, workers around. Who exactly is? Right. It's a nice gesture. But, yeah, right. But if I'm going to be one of these heralds, fools, you need to start letting me in on a few things. Okay. So who's this fool guy? I'm more of a beer man myself. But if Gates wants to bring the heralds closer together and play the modern boss, <laughs> nah. nah, no problem. I just never framed an urban legend before. Very post true. Yeah, I like it. He is Edward's closest legal advisor. Not even Thomas Cross or Eugene Cobb had a direct line of contact. I'd say Yates is at the top of a very short list. So, how do you feel about Burnwood? How do you think? She and her friends killed Yamagaki. Who is throwing stuff around here? Come on! Good job. Hmm? Hey? Thumbs up, mate. They were discreet about it. I caught a glimpse of a body. Corvo Black. I'm on the tour. Right. Mr. Black. Welcome. 
Miss Burnwood and Miss Vidal will meet you down by the wine fields. I trust you know the way. I can find my way around. Enjoy the tour. One of the most gifted surveillance specialists ever to graduate from Kent. Ran one of our interrogation back sites for a while, and I tell you, those prisoners folded like the door. Greetings, sir. Bernwood was in league with Grey. She's responsible for killing how many of our people? Over here! You two must be Burnwood and Vidal. And you must be Yates' garbage man. Sorry, but I didn't catch your name. This is Corvo Black, Tamara. He's a ICA regular. I only work with the best. Well, we're all here, it seems. Except for our guide, the chief winemaker. Looks like we're stuck here until someone fetches him. Mr. Black, I'm looking in your direction. Hold on. I'll track him down. Atta boy. Do try and bring him back in one piece. Counterintuitive as that may be. That was a bit rude. Hey, your partner. Yes, yes it was. Johannesburg Hall, and from that murder... Well, he first comes to Hampton's military camp. Patron, Senor Vargas? What? What is he now? What? You have some guests waiting. Senor Yates wanted you to give them a grand tour, remember? If I don't have more important things to do than babysit Yates' socialized friends, it's only harvest season. Better do what he says, Patron. Big shot New York lawyer like that. Don't want to get on his bad side. Well, I'm not going anywhere until I have decided if the crop is right for picking. Bring me the three Malbec grapes to taste, Ramon. If Yates doesn't like how I prioritize, he can weigh me down with concrete and toss me off a bridge. How's that? <sighs> Three grapes, was it? I'll get my picking knife. Do you think they're talking about those so sorry? Not I just worrying what people I don't know. I think I have to be For good. I'm gonna be born by now. What's going on with me? God, my ears. <sighs> my head. What should I do now? I reckon I should just go work and then I'm not gonna go. Uy, pero me mataría la bala. Mr. Vargas, I have the three grapes you requested. Yes, good. Now, let's see. Not a inky black color. Good size, large and firm. The four decades I surround. Why me? Why me? One of those days.
Welcome to Vignetta Yates. I'm Gabriel Vargas, chief winemaker, and I will be your tour guide. Any questions before we start? Yes, but they're all above your pay grade. We're good. Lead the way, Senor Vargas. Follow me. Mm. First stop on the tour is the production floor, where our prize-winning Malbec grapes are processed. Our equipment is state-of-the-art, including a drag-in freezer unit. And last but not least, our grape crusher, industrial size for your disposal purposes. Interesting. Well, Follow me, please. This is an industrial cold storage unit, useful for preventing cellular decomposition. It easily reaches temperatures of minus 10 degrees Celsius. Trust me, you don't want to stay inside for long. No kidding. Hey, there's no doorknob on the inside. Seems like a pretty glaring safety omission, if you ask me. Probably soundproof, too. And good luck getting a phone signal. Follow me, please. This is our grape crusher. The de-stemmed grapes are crushed into a thick pulp by a powerful yeah. rotating cylinder, into the van making each grape quite impossible. <laughs> system. State of the art equipment. Highly safe. So he? How do you operate? Uh, a bit of a grease monkey in this My area, but the control terminal. It's just a tablet throwing things like that. Where my playground, 
and the very year to pick up the mountain of my ancestry to just the sun. Our goal here is to get a year to keep it from our state-of-the-art winemaking system to our careful industry team. And take the loving care of our local Just a pub life. We're talking knee deep. The whole place looked like a horror film. Of course, Gates came down and told the poor sod in charge of the tanks a new one. You'd think there was some kind of failsafe mechanism or early warning system in place. Yeah, you would, but you'd be wrong. If the pumps malfunction, the tanks overflow. That pretty much sums it up. So, pay attention to that pump. Guys are in the market for an extra horror Lightning never strikes twice. These fermentation tanks are accident prone. If the pump malfunctions, the tanks overflow. This has happened before, provoking an appearance from Don Yates. It's likely to happen again. Which of you ear defining geniuses just poured half the goddamn harvest into the drain? Please, I'm dying. No one wants it. That I can only assume is a bold and poignant tribute to man's boundless stupidity. Tell my wife. 
Who wants to break the news to sweet Valentina that someone took a giant piss all over her ancestral vineyard? Nobody. Show's over. Hello there. Have you read her pile? Of course. Parents were political. Fought on the side of the country. And tomorrow. Forty-seven. It's done. Now what? Now, we strike at the heart. Edwards. You know how to find him, don't you? Why, Edwards finds you, 47. He is untraceable, and he never lets you forget it. He is cocky, and that will be his downfall. What's the plan? Too many eyes. Meet me at the Olive Grove at sunset. One last tango, 47. How did you know? Your deal. That kind of power always comes with a price. What's yours? I think you know. I am sorry. This is a necessary evil. What have you done? Eat the brand neurotoxin, transferred by touch. See, Edwards learns by his mistakes, 47. And as you've clearly demonstrated, brute force is futile. It had to be me. It was the only way. To get this close. My family. I know what you did. After all these years, 
I finally know. I am sorry. You didn't have a choice. I did. Providence used you, but I'm no better. All I saw was a blank slate, a weapon to wield. I told myself it was what you needed, but people aren't meant to be controlled. This is a kindness. Goodbye, Agent. <laughs>